Welcome to July's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is valid triangle number. Given an integer array nums, return the number of triplets chosen from the array that can make triangles if we take them as side lengths of a triangle. Here with 2, 2, 3, 4, we're going to output 3 because we have uh, 3 combinations of 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 again, two, this, this 2 that is, and also 2, 2, 3. So what's the condition here that we'd have to figure out to see if a triangle is possible? So imagine that we had three lines, um, one with a length of two, one with a length of three, and one with a length of five. Now if we wanted to form a triangle here, you can imagine, let's just say we moved this middle line down to here, right? And if we did that, we can see that we wouldn't be able to form a triangle, right? So these two are a combination of two lines. Like, there has to be some angle here for us to form a triangle, right? If we want to bend that in like this and form this triangle, these can't be equal because if this third length here is smaller than this i plus j, then a triangle isn't possible. One of the conditions that we can see is uh, this right here has to be greater in length than our uh, than our largest line uh, so that's kind of the basic formula um, so a couple conditions here what this means is the i has to be less or equal to j and uh, this has to be less than k and i the lengths of i plus j must be greater than k so with th this condition here we can kind of start figuring out what is a valid triangle or not of course, we can do the brute force method and find all combinations of three, check to see if these conditions hold, and just add to our output. But that's going to be pretty inefficient. One of the ways we could make this a little more efficient is to first sort it. Okay, so if we had like this, uh, what we're going to do is first sort our, our array. Uh, so this would become like that. Get rid of this four. And what we're going to do is do a nested loop. We're going to check every single uh, k here. Okay, so we start with the third element. Okay, so this would be k. And we have to do that because we need an i and j somewhere. So at the very minimum, i and j has to be right here, right? And we know that i and j are less than k, or less or equal to k anyway. Um, so now all we have to do is, uh, for every k, we'll, we'll have a two-pointer solution. We'll point one you know, right at this point, at the very first index, that's going to be our i, and have our second pointer here with the j, right before the k here. Now, if we see that i plus j is greater than k, that means a triangle is possible. And what that means is basically every i in between here, say that we had like a bunch of twos, like all those would count, because we know those are all less than our three, right? So what we'd have to do is, um, add whatever j minus i is to our answer because all those combinations are going to be able to form a triangle after that we figured out what j is possible so um, then we just decrease our j pointer one to the left if we find that i plus j is not greater than k what we'll have to do is try to increase our i and we'll increase our i uh, to see at um, until the two pointers meet in the middle like can we get to a point where i plus j is greater than k here so uh, I hope I explained that okay. Let's start coding it and maybe it'll start to make sense. First, we're gonna sort our nums and that's gonna allow us not to have to check every single combination here. Then we're going to, well, let's get the length of nums. We're gonna check for every k, right? So k in range of two to n. Now we are gonna have a two pointer here. Um, we're gonna have i and j. So i is going to equal to the very beginning of our index, and j is just going to be k minus 1. So while i is less than j, what do we want to do? We'll set our answer here, our output. So let's check to see if i plus j is greater than k. So if nums i plus nums j is greater than nums k, uh, then we're going to add to our output the everything the entire length of this array so j minus uh, i believe j minus i like that yes uh, after that we know that 
this J would count everything inside. So let's decrease our J and check to see the other ones as well. Otherwise, we're going to just increase our I all the way up to the point that it's no longer uh, less than J. Um, but we're not going to add anything here because we know if it's less than the length of K, then this triangle is impossible, right? So after that, we just return our output. So let's see if this works. Okay. And accepted. So time complexity is going to be, let's see, n log n here for the sort. And here it's going to be uh, n for every k as well as n for this two-pointer solution. So that's going to be n squared. So in total, it's going to be an n, n squared. Uh, if you want to get real technical, you can say n squared plus n log n. Uh, but I don't think we use any extra space. So, so that's nice. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.